You just got hired. Awesome. Here's seven financial moves you need to make in order to be successful. Hey, help me with the YouTube algorithm and like and subscribe. Here's a list of seven financial moves you need to make when you get your first development job. The first thing you need to do is start paying your student loans off. I know it's going to cost you about 400 bucks a month, but don't ever miss a payment. And here's why. Because your second job might be at a bank or a financial institution or even for the government. And they're going to do a background check and maybe a credit history check. I do not want you to lose a job because you failed a background check or failed a security clearance because your credit isn't good. So pay your student loans. Number two, live with your parents if you can, but if you have to move for work, don't spend any more than 30% of your take-home income on an apartment. Your first year is going to be like a whirlwind. You're going to be grinding. You're going to be working hard. You're going to be learning new things. You're not going to have enough time to enjoy a super nice apartment. So yes, get a safe apartment in a safe neighborhood, but try not to spend more than 30% of your income on an apartment because you're just not going to be around to enjoy it. Third, put 15% of your money away into an emergency account. And you want to do this until you reach about $9,000. I know that seems like a lot of money, but what you need is enough money to carry you over two major life events, either your car breaking down or you getting laid off. Fourth, I want you to start a second savings account and start putting 10% of your money away for a new computer. Now, odds are the work computer that you get is going to be light years ahead of the crappy computer that you had in college. It's going to be really tempting to learn stuff or do side projects on your work computer. Don't do that. Your work computer is for work. Your personal computer is for your own side projects. Fifth, get a Pluralsight subscription. Now, it, you could also use Udemy or LinkedIn Learning. It doesn't matter. But get some kind of online learning tool. That way, when your boss comes to you and says, hey, Helen is uh, taking off on vacation. Can you take over her DBA duties for a week? You can say, absolutely. Watch a couple of videos and at least have familiarity. This is an investment in your future. The 40 bucks you spent on Pluralsight or LinkedIn Learning is going to help you immeasurably when you're asked to do some kind of new task and you don't know how to do it. The sixth thing you need to do is reserve 5% of your budget for going out to lunch. I'm not kidding. Now, I'm not saying go to lunch every day, but if your coworkers go to lunch every Wednesday or they have payday drinks or they go bowling every Tuesday, you want to be able to have enough money to be social and insert yourself into the circle with your coworkers. This is actually an investment, and here's why. Because sooner or later, one of your coworkers is going to leave for a new job. When they do that, their new employer is going to say like, hey, do you know any developers who'd be a good fit on our team? And you want them to think of you. This is how you're going to get your second job. Finally, once you qualify for your 401k, start putting at least 1% of your money away as long as the company is matching. Then every month, increase your contribution by 1%. A lot of people say put the maximum amount into your 401k. And absolutely, you're going to get there. But when you first move out or you first get a job, there's going to be a lot of expenses you didn't anticipate. So I'd rather you slowly build yourself up to that. So I created a new developer budget spreadsheet. This is publicly available on my GitHub. You can go to my website, send me an email, and I'll email it to you. Now you can download this and play with it. You can estimate your federal taxes, your local taxes, and it shows you how much you're going to have remaining for food, for your cell phone bill, for your car payment, uh, once everything else that I suggested is done. And you can even change your total salary so that if you are comparing offers, you can see how much remainder you have. Congratulations on your new job. Now let's turn that software code into money.